Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Horizon Reports. My name is Aisha Khan. Today, getting information is just a click away. But how do you differentiate between what is fake and what is legit? Join me as we get to know what fake news entails. I think uh, the, the idea that you know, fake news on Facebook, uh, of which you know, it's, a, it's a very small amount of, of, um, of the content, uh, influenced the, in the election in any way, I think, is a, a pretty crazy idea. A lie can travel halfway around the world while the truth is putting on its shoes. So the saying goes. Never has this been more the case than in the current environment, where social media can spread an unverified story globally within seconds. In this digital era, it is easier than ever to create, edit and publish your work to the world, but there is a cost. It is also easier than ever to spread misinformation, and fake news has become a real issue in recent times. Habari za uongo bi nitasema ni taarifa ambazo upotosha hubomoa badala ya kujenga taarifa ambazo huwa lengo lake na wale ambao wanaandika zile ama wanachapisha zile habari za uongo baadhi yao hujua ni za uongo kwa hivyo wanakuwa na kusudi ya malengo fulani kwa hivyo inapofikia kwamba habari hizo ama taarifa hizo zimefikia msomaji basi wanakuwa wametekeleza lengo lao habari gushi nitasema ni taarifa ambazo zina urongo kwa kiasi fulani au zote kabisa maana unakuta ni uvumi ambao unaanzishwa na watu kwa manufaa yao wenyewe labda kumharibia mtu na kitu kama hicho lakini mwisho wa siku kina zinapofikia katika meza ya habari katika vyombo vya habari inakuwa ni taarifa gushi ambazo haziwezi haziwezi kuthibitishwa vyema zaidi ama unakuta hakuna thibati yoyote kuhusiana na taarifa hizo habari gushi ama habari za bandia wengine uziita hivyo e, kwa kimombo fake news ni habari ambazo si za kweli kwanza bila kupamba pamba kusema kwamba sijui ni habari zinaweza kuaminika ni, za, ni habari ambazo si za kweli ni habari ambazo si za kuaminika na maana ni habari za kuzua uzushi sisi pale kama baraza katika regulation tunaangalia kwa, kwa kwenye habari gushi e, kama ile si habari tena ile ni uvumi ile ni lies propaganda ambayo ni information ambayo imetengenezwa na watu hasua ambao wanataka kulagai watu wengine wengi wa watu huwa wanatengeneza ile habari na nia na madhumuni ya kutengeneza pesa e, especially kutoka online if you want to define fake news then to me my personal definition would be it is not news it is a, an information deliberately created to misinform the the public it is said to have taken a dichotomous form most people say fake news has compromised the authority of journalism while others say writing fake news stories has brought them a fistful of money what do we make of this phenomenon why is fake news so prevalent these days and how should we respond in order to get the answers to these questions we need to understand what news is from a journalistic point of view it is so difficult to define what news uh, is uh, but we just define news based on its characteristics like uh, the timeliness uh, the accuracy uh, proximity and 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 that not uh, therefore uh, news is uh, basically information uh, to enlighten the public on what is happening around you if it is timely news is information that is relayed about current events on various topics such as politics fashion business health education sports entertainment amongst others and so news is guided by its elements that include timeliness proximity prominence oddity suspense conflict emotion and consequence what is true and what is fake that is the dilemma many people are facing today across the globe our plates are so full that we don't know what is ripe and what is not allah warns us about believing that which we hear or see without authenticating it isn't that a major disaster today 
Nowadays, we have videos, we watch them, we can actually see them, and it's a lie. It didn't exist, it didn't even happen. It's perhaps a voiceover, video shop, etc., etc., and we believe it. Subhanallah, be very, very careful. Even what you see in mainstream news channels can actually be fabricated, and it can actually be wrong news. It can be something wrong. I recall watching news on a channel that people would never think would peddle lies and they had footage of some story that was a long time back and they sold it as though it was a current affair may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and protect us so just how big of a problem is fake news in kenya and what impact is it having on the way people consume information this is a question on the minds of communications professionals political campaigners media as well as the citizens Wacha niseme kwamba kunapokuwa na shughuli kubwa kama uchaguzi sasa yeyote anaweza akaeneza habari za uongo <coughs> ili kukidhi mahitaji yake. Labda anampigia debe, debe mtu fulani atasema inaweza habari za uongo ili ili mtu wake apate kura nyingi. Pili utapata kwamba sasa mbali na uchaguzi sasa watu wakati huo labda wanafuatilia habari kwa karibu kujua tumefikia wapi uchaguzi nchini Kenya. Sasa wale wengine ambao wana wana habari ambazo wanatakazi wafiki watu fulani anajua ah, kesho gazeti tanunuliwa sana manake labda mahakama ya juu ya upeo kundradhi yamefutilia mbali uchaguzi kwa hivyo wacha hii habari ya uongo nitafute nafasi katika ile gazeti ninunue hiyo nafasi ama hata katika hizi blogs unapata sasa atatumia fursa andike pale kichwa fulani ili kuvutia watu alafu uko chini anaweka habari fulani ya uongo Habari kuu zimeishi na sisi. Manake mambo kama udaa kumtaani na nini na nini mambo ambayo yamekuwa for almost all our lives. Lakini sasa yalianza ya kupata mwelekeo tofauti sana sana uh, during uh, just about during election wakati wa campaign za 2017 election. Ukiangalia kama ile research ilifanywa na Geopol mwezi wa, wa tano last year ikatoa ripoti yake ilikuwa kwamba ilikuwa imepeak ime Lakini sasa ukisikia kama vile watu wa eh, Cambridge Analytica wanasema kama ni ukweli wanasema wali 2013 walikuwa na walitengeneza zile habari lakini hapa imekuwa ni tatizo kubwa kwa 2017 ndio ilianza kuonekana na ukubwa ukawa kuna mambo fulani especially ambayo yanahusika na wanasiasa ama amba wale walikuwa wamesimama kisiasa mambo mengi yakianza kuwahusu ndio watu wakaanza kushangaa hizi habari huwazi ni vipi mbona mtu afanye hivyo uh, the kenyan media uh, industry has not been exempted from fake news and and, uh, and uh, quite clearly as you pointed out during the just concluded uh, you know uh, electioneering process uh, of course, we had a very interesting uh, election in, 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 the, in the history of this nation, whereby we had to go through two uh, specific elections. And, and, and um, uh, quite obviously, uh, we had uh, instances where and when we had you know, fake news being extended by specific uh, outlets. And, and uh, I, I would say um, the extent at which we experienced this was not quite as much as uh, probably before we got to know about you know the advent of fake news in itself uh, and uh, I, I, would, I would point that to the level of alertness in the media industry and uh, um, that feeling that the public really depended uh, depended on us uh, to to ensure that uh, the entire process was fair uh, it was reported accurately according to the news study termed the reality of fake news in kenya the prevalence of fake news is on the rise. The study revealed that 90% of Kenyans have seen or heard fake news in the 2017 general election, with 87% reporting instances of deliberate fake news. Kama hau na uhakika na kitu, nugu zanguni, usifuad, usishee, wangapi wa muulio katika mitandao ya kijami, Jamaa ye mwenyewe wajiona ameulio katika mtandao. Semekana somebody is dead. Na baadhi ya waislamu pia sisi wapuzi wa hali ya juu. Pia umeka RIP, rest in peace. Yake, mambo ya kipuzi ya kandugu zanguni wa islamu. Islamu wanapondokewa na mtu ni inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raji'un. Haya ndiyo mafundisho. Alladhina idha aswabatu hum musuibatun. Kalu inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raji'un. Rest in peace. Sisi pia tunafua, kama hizi. The issue of fake news emerged in Kenya in April 2017 
when a fake front page of the Daily Nation was circulated in Busia County during the primaries. The fake cover claimed that the Orange Democratic Movement aspirant, Dr. Utumo, had defected to Jubilee. It was created to discredit the candidate on the day of the nomination. Ni kuji hadari, ni kutambua kuwa na ile ability ya kama manahabari kuweza kujua hii ni fake news na hii is, this is real news. Yani zile habari rushi na zile habari sahi. Uzijue, uweze kuidentify. Na utazi identify vipi? Kuthibitisha. Mepata habari, kuthibitisha. Kwanza kabisa, mtu fulani amefariki. Piga simu kwa watu wake, find out. Mtu wake ambayo yuko karibu ni nani. Au mwenyewe, jaribu simu yake, tupiga simu yake. Kiona simu yake ishikwe. Pengine weza shituka umeishikwa ile simu yake. Sasa so, akishika ile simu hata unaja kumuuliza utamumsalimia tu habari gani bwana ah nilikuwa nakupigia na simu kukwa mkuu hata kumbe ulikuwa za kujua kama amekufa ama hajakufa tayari ushajua sasa pia kitu gani kinasababisha hii kitu ambacho kinasababisha habari uh, hushi utakuta kwanza kabisa ni ile desperation ya wanahabari ile kiu ya kupata habari wewe kwanza kwanza wewe ndio break news kwanza kwanza wewe ndio upate habari alafu kuna mablogs Hmm? Naona. Ukiweka fake news kesho wana habari wako wengine watashikwa. Sasa lazima uwe careful. Na hiyo ndio athari moja nyingine pia kwamba utavutia kesi nyingi. Naona. Alafu kampuni mwisho itafilisika. Utavutia ile habari ile chumba cha habari chenu kiwe hakiwezi kuaminika sasa. Watu wakisikia habari fulani umetoa habari moja news lakini mwaka mzima mtu akisikia habari kutoka kwa shirika hili anaona ah ngoja kwanza niulize shirika jingine kwa sababu ile habari moja ya mwaka jana kuna njia ambazo hivi sasa uh, media council wanafanya ile uh, program na internews vile nilikuwa uh, nimekuguzia ambayo inasaidia waandishi wa habari uh, ile ku debunk uh, fake news fact checking na nini na nini na kuna 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 tools ambazo waandishi wa habari lakini mimi kama mwandishi wa habari hata kando na hizo tools ambazo kwa hivi sasa zinatengenezwa na wataalamu wa kusaidia waandishi wa habari kugundua fake news mimi kama mwandishi wa habari Niko na uwezo tu hata kama ninafuata professionally kujua kama habari ni urongo ama ni kweli. In the current age journalism we've known that uh, we can't you know uh, we can't do away with social media. But according to our ethos of operations uh, I would call them the ethics the, the the general ethics that we use as a you know a means of operation and uh, uh, affirming our professionalism. Verification is key towards ensuring that what is shared uh, online is something that uh, has been verified with you as a journalist because the the general expectation by the general public was that this journalist has a responsibility to tell me what is true because it is your business to find out what is true what is verifiable what is accurate what is fair much as we must depend on it we can't do away with uh, sh social media we must always uh, you know extend our abilities to verify information that we get from the social media wacha niseme bila kuji kujimama samamasa kwamba wana habari hatujitumi tena sana si wote lakini sehemu fulani ya wana habari hatujitumi hata ukisikiliza baadhi ya baadhi ya matangazo yetu siku hizi unapata yani ukilinganisha na miaka ya awali unaweza kusema nikimsikiliza mwana habari fulani katika kipindi fulani alikuwa bora kuliko huyu katika kipindi fulani si kujaribu kuachamba kuasuta kwa kejeli na kusema kwamba wana habari wanakosea ama ni wabaya la lakini kwa muktadha wa habari za uongo ni kule tunachangia katika kupotosha umma amchia journalism pale ambapo una keti tu kazi yako ni kusema alisema 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 hapana enzi za wakati wa kusema ati alisema akasisitiza akihutubia wana habari enzi hizo hazipo tena Jamii na mambo mengi ya kuweza kuangazia iwe ni umaskini iwe ni kukosa ajira unaweza ukapigiwa simu kutoka Muranga na mama fulani naam polisi wamemua mtoto wangu life unasema tu mama mmoja katika kaunti ya Muranga amesema polisi wamemua mtoto wake je umempigia afisa mkuu wa polisi katika kaunti ya Muranga ukajua kama ni ukweli
wacha niseme bila kuji kujimamasa mamasa kwamba wana habari hatujitumi tena sana si wote lakini sehemu fulani ya wana habari hatujitumi ikiwa umefanya kwenye chumba cha habari kwa muda mrefu na mnaelewa namna ambavyo mnapokea taarifa zenu lazima zithibitishwe moja wapo ya njia ya kufahamu kwamba hizi taarifa ni gushi ni kupitia kuzithibitisha kutoka kwa yule ambaye amezituma ama kule ambako zimetoka ukiwa kwenye biashara ya kupokea na kuhariri taarifa lazima wewe kama iwe ni mhariri au hata mwana habari kwanza lazima ujue kwamba taarifa ambazo nimepokea nimetoka kwa sosu wangu ambaye ni mtu ambaye namfahamu kama ni taasisi ambayo naifahamu kwa mfano labda kutoka kwa wizara fulani ya serikali kwa hiyo lazima uwe na njia ama uwe na watu ambao wewe kama mwanahabari au hata mhariri ni watu ambao utawapata papo kwa hapo katika kuthibitisha taarifa hizo iwe ni za kweli ama ni za urongo the question is how do these stories take hold in kenya social media fundamentally shapes how citizens communicate and how brands and campaigners get their message across kwa ukubwa na kwa upana ni online users si bloggers peke yao lakini pia e, kuna wale ambao wanatumia vile nimesema habari gushi ilianza ni biashara mtu anafanya sasa wengi wao huwa wanalipwa katika ile clickbaiting manake the more people stay on your website on your site kama kama ni blog on your blog the more you utasambaza waambie watu vile uko na uh, followers wengi wale sasa siku hizi tunatuita tunawaita online influencers wanajiita online influencers but unapata wengine ni boots wengine ni sud accounts wengine si hakuna influencers ile wako nayo lakini wengi wao huwa wataweka kama vile nimekuambia wataweka habari nusu wakawaambie 10 things about Victor Bwere number 7 will shock you utafungua wende number 7 wanakuambia number 11 is now more shocking unaenda pale namba ile ndio wanakuzungusha wanakuambia nao number 1 check number 1 sasa ile unaendelea kuchukua muda mwingi kwa ile site yake yeye ana an blogs hizi zinapata pesa kutokana na habari zile ambazo wanatia katika mtandao na zile habari zinazotia katika mtandao zikitizamwa na watu wengi zile zaitwa views ama likes ama zile watu wengi wakiwa sasa wameo wamekuja waka wakaingia katika mtandao wako ndio unapata pesa. Sasa wao wanafikiria kwamba habari kila habari nikipata zaidi ndiyo nitavotengeza pesa. Sasa hawashughuliki na kuzisahihisha zile habari. Akipata tu fulani amekufa, anaagiza. E bank, bank fulani iko hivi, ametokea ajali fulani, anaweka. Sasa tunaosahihisha mara nyingi ni sisi watu ambao tuko katika main news. Yale mashirika makubwa makubwa ya habari kwa sababu unaogopa ukiweka fake news kesho utashtakiwa. Social media is what we call today the new media and uh, i will tell you without social media today uh, then there is no business that you can do people are, the consumers you know our habits have really changed people are not reading newspapers you know like the hard copy of a newspaper anymore people prefer to do it online and and, and further, furthermore they would prefer to get information as it happens and uh, that is what the social media is giving us but now there is a problem whereby we having each and every person churning out the information wa Kenya wanaamini sana uvumi kuliko taarifa za kweli ama unakuta uvumi ambao uko nusu kwa nusu unakuta nusu ni taarifa za kweli nusu si taarifa za kweli na unakuta mkenya atasonga mbele na zile taarifa ambazo ni nusu si za kweli na atachukulia kwamba huu ndio ukweli wakati ambapo huo ni urongo kwa hiyo hapa Kenya ni tatizo kubwa sana najua kuna taasisi zingine hata za kibiashara taasisi za kiuchumi pia zinapambana nazo kwa mfano ukiangalia katika banki kuu ya Kenya inapambana sana na tatizo hili mpaka wameamua kuchukua watu ambao wamekuwa wakifanya kazi newsroom ili wawasaidie katika vitengo vyao vya information kuweza kutenga taarifa za ukweli ni zipi na taarifa za urongo ni zipi kutoka kwa wateja wake nje siku hizi mtu haezi kaa ngoje ifike saa saba ama ifike saa moja ndio apate taarifa simu za viganja vime, zimekuja kuchukua nafasi zetu katika vyombo vya habari wananchi wameweza kufahamishwa na mengi sana ya kinachoendelea kiasi cha kwamba akiwa na simu yake ana account yake kwa kwenye Facebook, kwenye Twitter ama mtandao wowote ule ambao unatoa taarifa, anaweza ingia kwenye tovuti na akapata taarifa papo kwa hapo. Hii tayari inatoa athari mbalimbali kwetu sisi ambao tuko katika vyombo vya habari na kwa mwananchi. Kwetu sisi tunapewa ule uwepesi haraka wa kutafuta habari na kuweza kuzitundika katika mitandao ya kijamii yetu. 
hiyo ndio changamoto kubwa tuliona hivi sasa manake ni kama mwananchi anatuchallenge sisi sisi tumekuja kufahamu kwamba siku hizi hasubiri mpaka ifike saa moja ama saa saba apate taarifa ni, ni shida kubwa especially kwa vipindi vya moja kwa moja live shows aidha iwe ni ya radio aidha iwe ni ya tv lakini live shows pia ni miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo vinasaidia sana kueneza habari za zisizokuwa za kweli habari hushi hizi fake news kwa sababu gani kwa sababu katika live shows uwezi kumcontrol mtu kabla umcontrol ama mkatize stari ashasema yale maneno ambayo yanadhuru watu fulani ni mwizi bana huyo mtu e, mbure kabisa hata amewahi kushikwa kule nje akiwa na eh makahaba vitu kama hizo sasa kabla ukate ashasema na ishakwenda on air tayari so hiyo ni problem moja ambayo sisi wana habari hasa hapa Kenya tuko nayo alafu serikali ni kama ambayo imeshindwa pia ku control social media sasa mtu anaweka kitu chochote kwenye Facebook anaweka kwenye Twitter yake Twitter handle yake so where do all this fake news come from na habari zinaweza kuwa zatoka kwa umma ama zatoka kwa yote tu katika jamii lakini tukija kwa swala la habari za uongo manake habari mwana habari <laughs> wacha niseme kwamba pia sisi wana habari tunacheza sehemu kubwa katika kueneza habari za uongo wacha nitumie mfano hai tu majuzi tumeona shirika moja la kuchapisha gazeti e, likichapisha taarifa ya, ya inayonuia kusema kwamba jamaa fulani amefariki na kumbe ilikuwa uongo sasa tunajiuliza tatizo lilikuwa wapi nani alizembea ili hivi kwamba kwa hata kumpigia huyo bwana simu kumuli, kum, kumpigia jamaa zake simu ilikuwa vigumu kujua kweli kabla hatujachapisha hii taarifa kwamba mtu fulani amefariki ni muhimu tuthibitishe lakini baada ya kupokea tu kuchapisha na hiyo pia si hiyo peke yake unapata hata baadhi ya wanahabari siku hizi mitandao ina, ina umaarufu sana katika kueneza habari unaweza kupata mwanahabari ana wafuasi wengi katika mtandao hata kuliko shirika analofanyia kazi. Kwa hivyo akiandika pale taarifa fulani ama habari fulani wale wafuasi wake wanaamini. Na ni jukumu la huyo mwanahabari hivi kwamba kabla hajachapisha, kabla haja posti chochote aweze kuhakikisha kwamba amethibitisha si mara moja, si mara mbili, si mara tatu. Lakini wacha niseme kwamba muda haupo tena wa kukosea kutangaza kutoa habari za uongo alafu kuanza kusema samahani samahani naomba radhi ndio sikataya hakuna mkamilifu kuna uwezekano baadhi ya mambo tukaomba samahani tukasema kunradhi lakini kwa habari za uongo kwangu mimi nasema kwamba kwa kiwango fulani wacha ni ni nijifume mshale <laughs> ama nifume tasnia ya wanahabari mshale kwamba hapo tunakosea hasa katika enzi hizi za teknolojia kuna baadhi ya wanahabari ambao ni goigoi ambao ni wazembe siogopi kusema hilo manake kama kweli tutafuta ukweli lazima tuseme ukweli <laughs> unajua sekta ya habari haikuanza na eh, mashirika haba tuko nayo na NK24 sijui yani ah yameanza kitambo yani tangu wakati wa mtume kulikuwa na watu ambao wanatoa habari hapa wanazipeleka pale pengine kama unakumbuka wakati wa vita kama sikosei ni vita vya Badr kuna watu walitoka wakaenda wakawaambia wa, Uh, walikuwa wataka waislamu wa walikuwa wameweka mkataba wa kusikizana eh wasikizana na wa, mayahudi ambapo tutasikizana mkataba huu tuache vita ili na amani sasa wakatoka watu huku wengine wakaenda upande wa waislamu akawaambia nyinyi mnasikizana na wale watu wale watu wamewadanganya sasa nyinyi mkiweka silaha chini wao watakuja kuwavamia nyinyi naona na sasa waislamu wakasema ala kuna namna hiyo haya na wakatoka watu wengine huku ambao ni wanafik wakaenda kule wakasema hivyo hivyo kama nyinyi sasa eh mmedanganywa na wale wanataka tu mweke silaha chini mwavamie umeona sasa hawa wakawa wameshika silaha na hawa wameshika silaha watu wakaanza kupigana upya tena watu wengi wako wa sasa unakuta zile zilikuwa ni kama fake news tu ambapo sasa ingekuwa hawa wameambiwa hivyo wakathibitisha kwanza kapigia mtu mmoja bwana ni kweli nyinyi hati mna njama hii na hii na hii wangejua pengine wakadifuse ile wakasikizana So zilianza tangu wakati huo kuna vijana walikuwa wakitafuta kazi wakawa wameonelea ile kama ile industry ambayo unaweza tengeneza pesa sasa wale huo wanaketi watu mtu akiwa na nia eh, kwanza kumwaribia bwire jina lakini la pili ni kutengeneza pesa sasa atakwambia 
eh, abari fulani mambo pengine 10 things about Victor Bwire number 7 will shock you sasa wewe utaenda kuangalia pale ukifikiria kuna la maana kumbe kumbe nia yake ni kwamba ukishakuwa online wale wanalipwa eh, ile click baiting sio wanatengeneza pesa yao so mambo ya mengi ambayo huwa wanasema ni kidogo watachukua mambo mawili matatu juu yako lakini wachanganya na na, na, na urongo na uvumi na sasa zile si habari za kutegemewa vile vile sisi tunavyoona katika media kanzo swala la habari gushi mi mara yangu ya kwanza kusikia ilikuwa ni wakati wa uchaguzi wa mwaka mbili na saba wakati huo kulikuwa na taarifa nyingi zinatokea na zinafika kwenye meza ya habari kwa mpigo zote zinakuja hapo kumbe kwenye baadhi ya taarifa hizo kulikuwa na watu ambao walikuwa na nia zao wakati huo tulikuwa tuko katika kile kipindi cha kampeni tuelekea uchaguzi wa mwaka mbili na saba. hapo ndo niliweza kugundua kwamba tuko katika ile era ya taarifa gushi hapa nchini Kenya kimataifa zimekuepo the advent of fake news uh, have uh, we've just come to get to know about it uh, in 2017 it's more of a new phenomenon uh, in in, um, in the in the globe and under specifically it is a, a, a term that was uh, you know um, uh, gotten from you know what i would call very um, unprecedented lashing out of the media by the then you know presidential candidate uh, in the united states of america presidential race that is uh, the current president donald trump who was um, opposed to information that was being churned out by, by specific media outlets and hence uh, you know the, the the tag fake news and, and and specifically it is something as journalists we've grown to see that it is something that re, uh, that is really happening mm -hmm.